Okay, sorry about that. Here we go. We're going to solve one-step inequalities. Yeah, maybe we are if I can figure out how to do this. There we go. Now, remember when you're solving an inequality, it's just like solving an equation. But you have to do one thing new, and that is if, it, if at any time you multiply or divide by a negative number across the inequality sign, then you're going to have to flip your inequality sign. You're supposed to reverse it. Okay, so let's do some examples to help us figure this out. All right, we have solve x minus 5 is greater than negative 3 and graph your solution. Well, first thing we're going to do is just act like this is an equation, and we're going to get rid of our negative 5 by adding 5 to both sides, and we get x is greater than 2. Well, we didn't multiply or divide at all, so we don't have to worry about flipping our inequality symbol. Now, remember, when you graph an inequality, you put the number that you're working with in the middle, and then you put a number on each side. You don't have to spend a lot of time on your graph. This is an open circle because it is doesn't have the equal sign underneath, and we are going to shade to the right, which indicates greater than. Now on this one, it says x plus 9 is greater than or equal to 5. So again, we're going to just kind of treat it like it's an equation. To get rid of the 9, we're going to subtract 9 from both sides, and we get x is greater than or equal to negative 4. Again, we didn't multiply or divide, so we don't have to worry about flipping our sign. All right, so we're going to graph this with negative 4 in the middle. Now remember, when you do a negative on your number line, your numbers are kind of reversed. And this is going to be a closed circle because we've got the equal to, but again, it says greater than, so we're going to go to the right. Now, if I'm going too fast at any time, you just need to pause your video and take notes or go back and listen again if you need to. This problem says x divided by 4 is less than negative 5. Well, I'm going to have to multiply both sides by 4. Now, didn't we say that if you multiply or divide, I have to look at something? Yes. What did we do to both sides? We multiplied by a positive 4, not a negative 4. So we still don't have to flip our inequality symbol. And we got x is less than negative 20. So to graph that, I'm going to put my three numbers. There is going to be an open circle, and I'm going to shade to the left. All right, let's try another one. This says x divided by negative 6 less than or equal to 7. All right, to solve this one, to get x by itself, I'm going to do the inverse of dividing, which is multiplication. So I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 6. Now, notice on this guy that I multiplied both sides by a negative. So I had to flip that inequality symbol. It was less than or equal to. I had to flip it to greater than or equal to. And then I went ahead and graphed this. This will be a closed circle going to the right. Now, if you are struggling with open and closed and which way to shade, go back to the concept right before this where we went over that. Okay, let's look at this one. 9 is greater than x plus 7. I would like you to solve this one. Pause your video, solve this, and then come back and we'll do it together. Pause your video now. Okay, now that you have had a chance to solve this, hopefully... Two on your own. Yeah, we go. <laughs> Hopefully, you subtracted 7 from both sides, and then when you graphed it, you might have done this, because this is something that we said in our previous video, that it's, when you're graphing, a lot of times it's easier to have your variable on the left. So I'm going to rewrite this with x on the left and negative 2 on the right. Now, my original here the inequality, in my original inequality, the x was, the inequality was pointing towards the x. So on my new one, it also has to point to the x. All right. And I'm going to graph that. 
with a closed circle and let's make sure that sucker is closed up there because it's got that equal symbol there we go and shaded to the left all right this one says solve and graph i would like you to try this one on your own as well so pause the video and try this one pause your video now please all right now that you have come back hopefully what you did was divide both sides by negative three now you just divided by a negative so hopefully you said oh i've got to flip my inequality symbol and I get x is less than 8, because a negative divided by a negative is a positive. And when we graph that, we're going to get an open circle shaded to the left. Now, our last problem says you have at most $10 and want to buy as much 15 cent gum that you can. How many pieces of gum can you afford? set up an inequality to help you and solve. Okay, well, let's think about this for a minute. I've got $10. That's the most I have. So that is the top number. So everything else has to be less than that. So everything has to be less than or equal to $10. And I'm going to buy gum. And each piece is 15 cents. So let's let x represent the number of pieces of gum. I'm going to multiply that times 15 cents. This is expensive gum. Better taste pretty good. Okay, now to solve this. I've got multiplication going on there, to, so to solve it, I'm going to divide by 0.15, and I get 66.67 uh, is greater than or equal to x. Well, I'm probably going to rewrite this. And I'm going to think, um, I can't have 66.67 pieces of gum. Okay, so I've got to buy whole pieces of gum. Well, I can't buy seven, 67 pieces because I don't have enough money. So I'm going to have to round this down to at most 66 pieces of gum. All right. So look through this again. If there's anything you need to go back over, do so. And uh, if you have questions, make sure and see your teacher. Um, and I'm trying to, bear with me, I'm trying to figure this out. There we go.